What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? We got a little bit to talk about today about Luna Classic price action and repeg information coming out from one of the, let's call it OGs, who's been around for a long period of time and they're opposed to a repeg. Do you know why? Math? I mean, it, it's a little bit peculiar, uh, but everybody's entitled to their own opinion, even if their opinion sucks. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, we're going to talk about news because there is a little bit of news and we're going to wrap this up in a pretty bow. And if you like this type of content, make sure that you hit that like button. It's very, very important. But let's kick it off. Number one, Terraform Labs set up an August 9 deadline for bankruptcy claims. So we've got less than a month before we get a little bit more clarity about Terraform Labs debts that claims that should be owed has to be filed by August 9. We'll see what, uh, and by, by the way, um, they clarified that the general bar date does not apply to excluded crypto claims. These claims defined in the official bar date notice will have different deadline dates established later. So um, file your claim if there's a claim to file. On governance, uh, it looks like this website thing is not going to pass. Uh, looking at it right now and, you know, basically uh, you're looking at a lot of no or no with veto. I'm not sure really what the issue with this is, if it's spending money, okay. Um, again, if you support this, if you support this proposal and you want to see a Terra Luna Classic website, then Luna Classic Labs, Baywatch, BI Studio, Mandalorian, and Burrito Note so far have voted yes to it. The people who voted no, Ninja Note, Classic Note, Solid Vote, Lunk Development Fund, Luna Classic, LVS, Advow, and Battle Force. Uh, no with Veto is Interstellar Lounge, uh, Quantum Nodes, Hexagon, Autism Staking. Now, find out whether or not this is a good proposal. It seems a little bit broad. Maybe Daba didn't do a great job of explaining it, uh, although I do think that when you read through this, it's, it's fairly well explained, and um, I, I, I would venture to say that perhaps um, uh, per, perhaps th this is a question of where the funding is coming from. First complaint up here, I don't think it's a great idea to use the community pool for an independent website because when the community pool will be used, the website will no longer be independent, but it will be recognized website by the community. So an official website, what do you think? So the question is not whether it's a good idea or not, but where the funds are coming from. Also, uh, there's a, a lot of questions and stuff like that that are arising. Uh, this is a no for me. I thought this project chose to pivot to donation funding plan. I would also question how the original quote of 25895 has been reduced to 23240. So there's some con com communication going on about this. So as we go down the list here, and you will see a, kind of an argument here uh, erupts, if you will, over exactly where the money uh, is coming from. So, and, and you, really when you have a Dow vote, this is what happens. So uh, the voting currently not going to pass, doesn't look like it has a shot at, at this point of passing. Um, so uh, again, if you don't like the way uh, these people are voting. If you don't like them, don't stick with them. Stick with people who vote in the way that you believe. If you believe this is a good idea, stick with these five guys right here, Luna Classic Labs, Baywatch, BI Studio, Mandalorian, and Burrito Note. If you don't, uh, and you're currently staked with these people and you disagree with what they're doing, then remove your stake and stake with somebody who is passionate about the same thing that you're passionate about. That's how you get things done. It's a very simple process. So, um, uh, But in this one, I think it probably needs to be reworded better, and we need to talk about you know some other uh, stuff here first before, like, for example, coming from the community pool, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So um, vote how you want, vote your conscience, and then uh, we'll see how it shakes out. And then, of course, stake with whomever uh, best supports your belief system. Let's turn now to price, and uh, in case you can't, re I don't remember here, yesterday I told you that there's a volume node, and that volume node is sitting right here, and that the most likely scenario of playout is that we were going to revisit this volume node right here, and if you take this and go right here, oh, look at that, that's exactly where we are right now, visiting that volume node. So, what is the next step? Well, the next step to this is if the market wishes it, and it continues to pump, and look, we have every reason to think the market's going to continue to pump. Then what you should see, and I like being right, by the way, uh, what you should see is a move up into this range, a retest here, because that'll be a big move, and that'll be breaking some resistance over here, and we're going to have to eliminate those sellers who are selling around this price action from this pump down here. There's only a couple, but a couple down here moving up to here. So 
got to exhaust those sellers and if we do that we pump over here and then the next move is up into this range right here which is around the nines 92 uh, then the next move is going to be up into this range right here which is the 98 97 range and then there's going to be a big move here up into that 10 4 range with three zeros 10 4 now in the event that this plays out to perfection then you would see you know basically a stair step process just like it stair steps down it's going to stair step its way back up uh, but that looks like where the volume of trading is for the moment now when you zoom out by the way uh, you know it will change a little bit more and you'll see that this range that i'm giving you up here uh, might be a little bit higher it's going to be in that 10 5 range um, but I mean, again, you know, we're right at the volume node and the volume, volume likes what volume likes and volume likes to be in a specific zone. And that specific zone, as you can see right here is around that 10, five. So it's kind of where it starts. And then it ranges up here, as you can see, when I zoom out a little bit, uh, to around that 12 number. So three zeros, 12 could be the next localized big target. That might be what we're looking at for a, a, a robust and big sort of move. Uh, as far as USTC, kind of same things playing out over here. Again, it's about getting through the resistance. In this one, we don't really have that. We're on the test here of that breakout and we're bouncing off of it right now. So the next test here is that 200 MA, which is gonna be about 2.4 cents. So the question is, can we get the motivation to, to to break through there? By the way, there is a 50 MA crossing over into this, and we you know we could bounce in the hundred, which is probably going to be you know right in this little range right here. I don't know for sure yet, but I, I, I'm going to assume that that's where it is. But we bounce through there, and then boom, we bounce through there, and that's what it would look like. As far as meme coins go, uh, you can see over here that I'm kind of holding a little bit of meme coins sort of everywhere, just everything. Uh, let's hold some meme coins and see what happens. Uh, governance we already covered. Uh, volume up 84% on the day, 435,000. Uh, same thing over here, up 89% on the day, up 3%. Now, let's talk about the repeg because we have uh, Kimmy Boy 2 who says, many people have asked me through DM what I think about repeg. Well, I was just going to ignore it, but I'll tell you what I think. When the word repeg comes up, first of all, I find it funny because repeg cannot be done by governance votes or developers. In the past, numerous developers, a governance proposals related to a repeg were made to by fraudster developers who did not have the skills or ability to work at the time and kept delaying the time by making repeg proposals that they could not make, making excuses to steal money from the community pool every month. I'm 100% sure that voting for repeg governance and developer repeg will never work, never. Basically, for repeg to be possible, a large amount of funds must be invested and those funds require base and coins that must be collateralized by USTC. For example, BNB or FDUSD, USDC, etc. Funds must also be available in order to reduce the burden of the enormous amount of funds for executing the current repeg. The burning of USTC and LUNK should be much more active than now. And when this reaches a certain level, funds will be injected from somewhere and the repeg will begin. I am paying attention to when, how, and, and through uh, what route TFL will burn the USTC and LUNK held by it and hope they don't do something stupid. Anyway, Binance is our only hope now. Now, um, after considering this for 10 seconds, uh, no. So what he's basically telling you at this point is you, you have to consider the amount of debt. We are carrying a debt right here, estimated about $8.9 billion. Just let that sink in there. That's $8.9 billion. But we only have a market cap of 97 million based on a circulating supply here of 5.57 billion. We have to do something about reducing the total supply, okay? Now, fully diluted market cap, 156 million. So, you know, what is the percentage? What is the rate in which you have to peg in order to be able to have the cash on hand in order to do whatever needs to be done right here. And that number right now looks to be about one cent. So what you'd have to do is you would have to be in the market maker, letting the peg go to one cent just to start. But here's the here's the important part, right? If a bunch of people sell off, then it's not gonna be pegged to a penny, okay? And, and if that doesn't make sense, the reason that that doesn't make sense is because you have to have, let's say if it's one penny and you have the right supply then like in the, in this situation you have a circulating supply of 5.5 billion here so you know the the amount that you would have to have on hand at one penny would be 55 million you have to have 55 million cash okay that's how the the peg would work because that would be what's backing it now the question is from 97 million market cap how do you get 55 million dollars in order to peg it to one penny that's the question that he's asking, and that is a fair 
question. When we're using an algorithmic fungible token, when you're using an AFT, then there are variables to consider. With the, the, the peg being at one cent, what if everybody sells? Then the peg cannot stay at one cent and it becomes depegged. So there are questions that have to be answered about that. Specifically, how do we raise $50 million, basically, to get it to one penny? Once we've done that, then you can create a mechanism by which some of it is burned over time, some of it, it, the supply continues to get reduced. Once the supply gets cut in half, you raise it to two cents. I mean, it's very simple. It's just time consuming and you have to get people to trade on the chain and make this stuff happen. So I know I'm probably hitting you with complicated shit right now, but just stick with me here. Uh, the, the repeg, despite what Kimmy Boy 2 here said, no. Uh, somebody else says, it is a weird situation because the benefit of the repeg for Lonk really means re-enabling the market maker to burn Lonk to maintain peg. However, Lonk will only be burned if USTC were to be above $1. That's not true. You change the you change the market maker to one cent. Like it's very, it's 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 surprisingly simple for people who are not surprisingly using their, their, their thinking cap, if you will. Uh, it does not have to be. It could be one, again, we can set this to a penny, it's just a question of, you have to come up with the funds. And that's the question right now. How do you come up with the funds? Well, part of the way to do that, it, I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll talk about that at a later time. 684 million have been burned over the last seven days. Um, uh, if you haven't already, check out Lunk Metrics. But the most important thing you can do is check out Terra Casino. Did I say Terra Casino? I said Terra Casino. Because if you haven't, why not? Go, uh, look, Luna Classic, Luna, BNB, BUSD, Ethereum, Polygon, uh, USTC, USDC, uh, USDT, USDC, and Dogecoin. Any one of those can help you over here. You want to play some PvP poker? Go for it. You want to do some sports wagering? Go for it. You want to play some roulette? You want to play slots? You want to, Whatever it is you want to do, you can do over here on Terra Casino. And you know what? If you win big, you can take it away. And in the meantime, remember... Terra Casino burns more Lunk than All Nodes or KuCoin or the Lunk Burn app or Lunasphere. So uh, you should probably be checking them out. TerraCasino.io. Also, because we're going to be talking about it today, let's talk about Terraport.finance and let's talk about the rocket on the launch pad. So uh, coming over to the launch pad right here. What is going on, guys? You know when I give it to you, it's important. Cryptonomy.finance just launched their own channel. This is a key financial sector for information every single day about what's going on in cryptocurrency and the broader markets. It's on Telegram, and it's cryptonomy underscore community. Go check it out today. You know staking is where it's at. There's panic in the market right now. Fear and greed index is down in the 20s right now, and you should know by this point it is a time to buy. So my first deposit right now, you guys know I'm bullish on it, API3. I really think API3 does a 100 to 300x in this next bull run. I just staked 4,000 API3. My reward on that, 2,892 API3. I think it's trading around $1.90 right now. So this is a big move for me. I think that this could produce some serious yield. Not to be outdone, you guys love Jasmine. I love Jasmine as well. I think it's going to be the biggest thing uh, in, in blockchain for gaming at some point, maybe even integrated into Sony. 340,000 Jasmine right now. I just staked it for nine months. And my reward on this, 244,516 Jasmine. I'm super excited about this one. I think it's going to be a big banger. But let's face it, the real money is made over here on the launch pool. Water coin, water, we talked about it already. It's already up 6x. They took a big profit on this already. Cookie, you remember Cookie trending on Dex Tools, up 5x right now. Potoshi up 3x. Huge yields being rewarded. Cryptopia TOS was also 3x in the last round. Cryptonomy.finance knows what they're doing when it comes to these big launches. Make sure that you're contacting Cryptonomy.finance and if you do, you can use their 24-7 support line as well. Uh, you can convert your collateral into whatever it is that you need because they hold almost every crypto asset that you can possibly think of for staking and rewards. So sign up to Cryptonomy.finance today. Oh, and one more thing. In about a month, Cryptonomy is going to announce its own launch pad. It'll start launching its own. And guess what? You, as a customer and a VIP, VIP user, you're going to get first crack at all of the best projects. It's not financial advice. I'm always right. 
Uh, we're going to turn in that one for the day right there. We've earned 2,873 points right now uh, and, and so far. We're going to do a swap a little bit later to earn a little bit more, but uh, and we didn't do it yesterday, so uh, we're going to have to do it one more time again today, do a little swap. I'm going to see how the market moves first before I do that. I don't like to just swap just for the sake of swapping. It, you know, I just want to... Uh, but anyway, ter try TerraPort.Finance for all of your meme coins. And in fact, if you're looking for it, Rackoff, uh, you've got Rackoff Lunk, Rackoff Terra. There's plenty of different pairings and combinations. And all you have to do, get the right pairing, right combination that earns yourself uh, a pairing yield. Uh, get that pairing yield up uh, quite a bit. For example, MBNA to Lunk is up 8.89% today. So you could flip this and, and turn it into a big yield for your Luna Classic for increasing your holding. In Luna Classic, you just got to find that favorable pairing today. Like, for example, uh, you can see here that Rakoff is down, Rakoff, whatever, is down 6% on the day basing uh, versus the Luna Classic pairing. That's not price, by the way. That's not price. That's just uh, the pairing. So if you swap, uh, then you would earn 6% less Luna Classic for the day. Hope that made sense. Now, let's talk about it because the reason that this is a thing here is because of this rocket uh, protocol and this rocket guys I'm, I'm, I'm such a big fan of tower defense games uh, I told you guys before field runners defense grid those are my favorite games um, but here is the uh, white paper let's talk about this real quick there's going to be 1 billion supply of rocket tokens uh, to be eligible for the snapshot you must be holding a daily average of 1500 terror tokens on the specified snapshot date every day this ensures only engaged community members participate in the initial benefits of the rocket ecosystem initial benefits now distribution is going to be right here 60 percent into liquidity 10 percent into the airdrop in game rewards 10 percent farming and staking 15 and the team gets five percent so it's a fair launch uh, 600, 600 million are going to be launched right away. Uh, audit and security. You guys, you can go check this out as you need to. It's been audited by Certic. So uh, game mechanics here. This is the part that matters to me. Rocket is a power, uh, is a play to, play to earn tower defense game where players strategically place towers to defend against waves of enemies. The unique aspect of Rocket lies in the integration with a Rocket token as an in-game currency, providing utility and value to players. I'm super excited about this. I, if I stumble a little bit, it's because... Again, just uh, tower defense games are cool as shit for me. Uh, In-game economy, you can earn tokens, you can spend tokens, and you have staking mechanisms. Uh, players can stake rocket tokens to earn additional rewards and in-game benefits, fostering deeper engagement within the ecosystem. Uh, there's daily challenges, complete daily challenges to earn rocket token. There's leaderboard rewards, and there's special events. Also, you can buy rocket tokens inside the game, which will allow you, of course, uh, to contribute to the ecosystem. It's committed to building a strong and engaging community. The fair launch airdrops and regular updates are designed to keep the community involved. There's an airdrop program. Again, we talked about that, staking and farming. Rocket is set to establish a new standard in the gaming industry by combining engaging gameplay with the innovative potential of blockchain technology. With a focus on fairness, security, and community involvement, Rocket offers an exciting opportunity for players and investors alike. Uh, join us in this journey to revolutionize the world of tower defense gaming. Guys, if you haven't already, TerraPort.Finance, go sign up. Make sure you're holding 1,500 Terra. It's not that expensive, by the way. It's not. It's, it doesn't. It's, it's not much. Uh, but go hold 1,500 Terra and start earning a little bit of Rocket every single day, guys. I, I can't express to you. I can't express to you uh, any better. This yield farming, airdrops, those kind of things. That's how you make just tons of extra money in this business. If you're not doing it, what are you doing? So uh, get yourself some Terra. Go over to TerraPort.Finance and get yourself some Rocket because, look, uh, I, I think this is going to be a super fun game to play. I'm excited about it, and I hope that you are too. Anyway, that's my time. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right.